Okay, so I'm getting to the point now where I have to start unboxing some of the Airsoft products that I've had sitting in my armory, brand new, in the box, untouched, some for up to a year. So what I'm gonna do from this point onwards is yes, every now and again you will get a brand new unboxing of a brand new product. For example, the last video I did was of this Modify PP2K, yes, we are still in the realms of Russian firearms. Ooh, and by the way, remember I showed you that? Well, it turns out it's not actually a fault of this system. What it is, is that unfortunately, whether it's something I did, I don't know, but there's a little piece broken off the end in here that holds on to this mag plate. That's why that moves so easily. Case in point, look, Here's the shorter magazine for the PP2K and there's no issues whatsoever with the mag base coming off very easily. Look, it's even clicking because it's been held onto a little piece that I think I accidentally broke off on that or it came broken, I don't know. But either way, it's not an inherent problem. No issues at all. Right, go. This is the JG AS74U, AKA AKS74U. Let's do this. Hold up, wait. What the chicken and chips is that? Is that supposed to say motor? <laughs> Do you know what? I love it when manufacturers put their products in these marvellous looking boxes with big bold lettering, very colourful, nice image of the product inside. Very nice, but little alarm bells also ring because I don't know if you've noticed, the more expensive, more higher tier airsoft guns tend to be less fussy with the packaging. It's almost as if the cheaper brands are trying to make up for something. I could be wrong. <laughs> Let's get it open. Yeah, again, very nice imaging on the side. So, let's do this. This is AEG, but it has blowback. <laughs> so, let me put this here because I do appreciate that box. <laughs> so, here we go. Nice packaging. I tell you what, very neat. I'm loving this. Literally everything here that you need to get you up and running with this piece. So the first thing you are presented with is an instruction manual, an optional key to wind the mag, some paper targets, a cleaning and unjamming rod. You get some poison. No, really, that's there so it doesn't get all damp in storage. But yeah, a complimentary bag of BBs, a battery, a 600 round Bakelite style, Mag. Let's just get this out. Okay, 600 rounds. There's your windy wheel at the base, the door to fill it up, and your little lever there, should you wish to uh, get rid of the BBs from the mag and not have to fire it through the AK. And then we get to the showpiece itself. And you know what I love? Oh, hang on. Look, you also get a little metal key so you can adjust your front sight. Now straight away, I'm gonna tell you what I absolutely love about this piece, is that it uses real wood furniture and steel for the body. Yeah, you've got your plastic bits, such as your grip, but that's about it. Everything else is steel and real wood. Loving this sort of packaging, it really does hold the product very nicely and it needs to. This little thing packs some weight. So the first thing we're gonna do is extend that stock and if you look right there, just like its real counterpart, you press on that stock 
is released. Oh, loving that metally sound. So, as I mentioned before, this entire stock is metal. In fact, steel. Got some nice serrations there for a nice grip. You have your stock release button so you can fold it up again. And just above the stock at the rear of the main receiver, you have a release button for your receiver cover. And you know what? Let's do that right now. And right there, as you can see, is where you put your battery. Um, one that they nicely provided. But what I am impressed with, it's LiPo ready. So you can also use a LiPo. But as this is a brand new box unboxing, I'll use what they supplied. Good to see you've got your fuse box right there. Let's just uh, pop the battery pack in. And one thing you've got to be careful of, when you are closing this cover, make sure your wires are out of the way. And if you can, keep the cable in motor that side as opposed to this side, because that's where you've got your blowback action. Bob's your uncle. Okay, so as we continue, let's bring it back down here where you have this very nice grip with your checkering on both sides and access to your motor. And right there, you've got a serial number relating to JG. And if you look very closely, I don't know if you can just about see that, you can see it actually says JG works. And boy, that is one hell of a long serial number. <laughs> and right here, you've got your stock release for when you want to fold it again. Let's move back up again for a second. I wanna bring you back here. This makes me laugh. Look at that button. Can you see this is brand new out of the box and some of the paint has scratched off, okay? I don't care, it's an AK. They're supposed to look all roughy tufty But what I respect about JG is they don't try to cover it up. They're just so real about these things. I mean, look at the box. Even the photo on this retail box shows that same sort of paint damage on that button. Ah, now the chances are because this particular model has been out for years, uh, it is brand new to my armory, but it's been out for years. Do you have one? Did it come out of the box looking like this? Again, not an issue for me. I'm just very interested in that sort of thing. It's a bit like the old AK scratch. So right here you have your scope mount, your trigger, your trigger guard, your mag release, your mag well, you can see right there where the BBs are fed. Oh, and by the way, when I show you some very obvious and basic things on an airsoft platform, for some of you more experienced airsofters, bear with me because I get tons of new viewers and new people to airsoft. So sometimes I've got to go over the basics. And then right here, this represents in the real world uh, what factory this was made in. So for example, if it's got a star like that, you know that this bad boy well, the real version of this was made in a factory in Russia. And then right here you have your rear sight. And you know what makes me laugh? You can always tell when a retailer um, has had something on display and they've just put it in the box to sell to you. <laughs> Look at the dust on that bad boy. This came out of the box brand new. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, much better. So. Here we are at the rear sight, and you've got that Russian symbol there, which I believe is a P. The reason why I think it's a P, because I've been saying PP quite often recently. Again, referring back to my previous video of the Modify PP uh, 2000, look, that same symbol or letter right there. Two of them, PP 2000. I don't know, looks the same to me. Any Russians out there care to confirm? Well, you don't need to be Russian. Just have to know what you're talking about. Same thing, yeah? Cool. So yeah, this is adjustable for like range. So you just uh, flip that down and you know who your uncle is. And then of course here, you've got that hinge that you saw in action when I opened up your receiver cover. And then here, as you saw earlier, that's your stock release. As we progress further, you've got a nice bit of wood here, don't. And yeah, it's got some nice grains on there. It's done pretty well, considering technically you could call this airsoft on a budget. 
yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, real wood, this acts as your hand guard, and of course this top section right here, like its real counterpart, if you wanted to take that off, you've got that little plunger thing right there that you would need to move out of the way to get this off, and to do that, again, like its real counterpart, you just open up your receiver cover, and that pin there will automatically go in. As we move along, you have your front sling point, your front sight, that is adjustable. Remember that key I showed you earlier on? You simply slot it over the top. In fact, let me show you this first. Look at the height so you know it actually does function. Look at the height there. There you go. Hang on, let me get it correct. There you go, that's better. When I say correct, it's just, just easier to show you that it is now higher. And then you come to this awesome looking muzzle device. Now this muzzle device not only acts as some sort of flash hider, but in the real world, something to do with the gas system and boosting and yeah. But of course on this Airsoft version, it's just for looks. But you can take that off, revealing a 14 millimeter counterclockwise threaded barrel. This would make an awesome prop. We'd have to get rid of that though. The JG markings. Anyway, let's have a look on the other side. Yeah, this is where all the transactions are made. <laughs> so, from the back, you have your rear sling point, which sounds like a cowbell, or maybe even when you're calling time at a pub. <laughs> you have your very familiar AK style fire selector switch. There's your safe. There's your full auto, there's your semi-auto. And like I mentioned before, there's your AK scratch. <laughs> so let's get that bad boy back onto safe because we do have a battery in there, but as you've already seen, no mag just yet. Do you know what? Shall I get the mag in? No, let me just quickly show you this first. Right here, you have your charging handle. And remember, this bad boy is blowback, not gas, but electric. And right behind here is your hop-up adjustment. That slidey thing there. Not my favorite, but it works. And that's pretty much it really for this side. Yeah, you got your markings there. You've already seen that. Yeah. Again, loving the fact that this is all steel. Now, just because it's steel doesn't mean it's the same sort of steel on anything real, okay? Oh, and right there, you have that little plunger that you would need to push back to release your muzzle device. Plunger. Pin. Right, shall we complete that picture? Oh, now, I tell you what, before I even get any BBs in there or anything, let's just make sure this bad boy works so, uh, Mag out. I know there's nothing in here, but best practice, point it in a safe direction and iPro on. Now, here's what I'm expecting. Let me put it on semi-auto. It's an electronic or electric blowback, so it's never gonna be as good as a gas blowback in terms of the action. I'm expecting this charging handle not to fully go back home a few times. Um, Maybe it will get caught up with whatever mechanisms in there. Who knows? But let me just quickly make sure it all works. Yeah, baby. And oh, <laughs> that proved me wrong. Um, it went all the way back home. Good. But I don't expect it to do that every time. Let me give it some full auto love. Oh, that's satisfying. Look, it's gone back home again. Only a slight gap, but hey, that's nothing. Some clever angling and for filming purposes, not an issue. Right, so we know that works. Right, I've got some BBs in. Let's do this. <clears throat> you can't even pay me enough to react. Baby. <laughs> and as always, when you see the first BB appear, you just wind it a few more times. Okay, let's do this. Gotta say though, the wobble on the mag is epic. Look at that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But hey, as long as it works, let's see what this thing can do. Let's do the chrono test. Nice.
Yeah, pretty decent. We're looking at a pretty consistent, what, about 349, 350 FPS? Just dropping down a bit there to 346.7. In fact, if I put one more in, I bet you it jumps back up again. Nice. Full auto. Yeah, baby. We're looking at 12 rounds per second. And again, up there in the high 340s for the FPS. Right, let's see what this thing can do down range when I sling a couple of BBs here, 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 and here. Hmm, full auto there. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. That was satisfying. Come on. <laughs> Speaks for itself. I'm not even going to explain it. Absolute tragedy. Don't know what I was thinking, but then... <laughs> but then, as I started to settle down and get comfortable with this AKS-74U, things started to get better. And then, I'm not even going to say anything, but... Perfect. Perfect. And again, ha. no words. Again, this bad boy is so satisfying. Let me empty the mag. <laughs> Man, that was satisfying. <laughs> So, to sum up, what do I feel about this particular thing? Hold on, I've got to show you this because, especially when you're in gameplay, good practice to when you're done, take your mag out. You will probably see two or three fall out, as in BBs. There you go. Yep, there's still a couple in there. And uh, in a safe direction, make sure it's completely clear. That's clear. And do you know what else that does? That helps to release the tension on the spring. And do you know what? I am really impressed. Seems to be quite a sturdy build as well. I'm not seeing a lot of wobble apart from that ridiculous amount of wobble on the mag. So for me, that's a major negative for me. Look at that. That is some major wibble wobble. Out of the box, as you saw, brand new. The accuracy is pretty decent. Some of the other negatives that I've read about, I've not experienced it yet because again, I've only just taken it out of its box, is that after a while, the spring may get a bit weak. You know, the spring that handles all of this blowback action. Um, your mock bolt may not close properly after a period of time, but apparently a get round of that, which is what you should do really to release everything, is to put it on semi-auto and take a shot. And it should close. But as I said before, it's done it every time brand new out of the box also i've heard about complaints about the hinge right there when you open up your top receiver cover um certain spring and pin will go flying out not experienced that yet and to be fair there's been other things i've seen about this which is negative but you know what again out of the box nothing so Put your comments down below. Do you have one of these? What is your experience? But for me, so far, decent.